Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoStore.com. I'd like to share with you a brief update. This is the 1974 Volkswagen uh, Super Beetle sedan, the blue and white car. In the earlier video, we were sharing with you with all the progress we made with the headliner and the interior trimmed out. Um, and then there's more progress since then. So um, after we installed the complete headliner and the side trim, uh, we've installed the uh, pop-out windows or the quarter glass windows. So these are an upgrade uh, that the car did come with originally. So you can see how nice it's finished off um, on the inside. So it has the original seal going around. It'll have to be cleaned off. But you can see the nice hardware um, and the chrome hinge for the pop-out. So they actually do operate and they're in the open position right now. So we went ahead and we installed those and uh, both of them to the car and we have all the correct seals. And the front, we, um, we share with you an earlier video where we were talking about we eliminated or modified the fenders. So instead of having the really big marker light here, uh, or signal light I should say, uh, we removed that, we made a patch and we, we um, welded in new steel and refinished it. So this is a much cleaner look, but you have to have a signal light in the front that needs to be amber. So uh, there was a supplier that we found with these upgraded uh, headlights, sealed beam headlight, and the amber triangle is built in the lower part um, of the sealed beam. We've already went ahead and did the wiring, so instead of the wires going up here for the signal, uh, we've wired it uh, to go into this amber um, signal that's built in. So in my opinion, much cleaner look. Um, we have to still order the front uh, bumper brackets and bumpers and this as um, if you're familiar with the 74 Super Beetle it should be the really large hole with the big triangle cutout um, with the big shocks on the bumpers but our client wanted to go with the upgraded cleaner look and that's why we have the different um, setup here for the bumpers and the bumper brackets. So uh, the next thing we did after we installed the lights and had it all wired up in the quarter glass windows is um, we installed a disc brake conversion kit. So this car originally came uh, with drum brakes and uh, we wanted to have a much safer um, feel for the customer and, and better braking overall. So one thing that you can't see um, is there is a problem with the steering box and it's very, very common in the Super Beetles, the worm gears um, that work against each other or um, as you turn the steering uh, wear out prematurely and there's no rebuild kit for them. So we were able to source a brand new German made high quality steering box made specifically for Super Beetle. So we've removed the worn out one and we installed the brand new steering box. So the steering box is installed. We're waiting for the center link to come which is the main bar that goes across between the two tie rod ends and then the steering box attaches to that in the center. Um, it's all worn and it's, uh, it's something that's going to be coming shortly. Uh, so you can see now what we did is we used the original spindles uh, from the 74 Super Beetle. Um, so basically you remove uh, the drums and the backing plate and the hub and then uh, this conversion kit bolts directly to the, the, um, the spindle that comes with the Super Beetle. So we now have the nice brand new rotors, we have brand new calipers and pads and hardware, um, and then we've got new bearings, inner and outer, new seals, and you can see we have the new uh, studs for our wheels too. So um, we now have the upgraded disc brake conversion kit, we've upgraded the master cylinder, so the brake master cylinder is larger now, so it'll push more fluid, which you're going to require for this disc brake conversion kit. So lots of progress on this car. Uh, this is the 74 Super Beetle, the blue and white one. Uh, and I thank you for watching. I'm John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com.